All right, so this is the first of seven time-lapse videos I'm uploading for this fireplace remodel project. Uh, my brother Neil uh, had graciously offered to come down and help me out with this remodel. Uh, we did it over uh, seven days. Uh, he drove down from Northern California um, down to Southern California where I live. Um, so in addition to this uh, fireplace remodel, um, at the same time I wanted to take down these six speakers that you see around the room um, and replace them with in-wall speakers instead. Um, they're part of a 9.1 channel uh, surround system and my wife has never liked them since I put them up. Um, so thought they were sort of an eyesore and so I wanted to surprise her uh, as part of this remodel project and uh, replace all those with in-wall speakers as well uh, while she was away. Um, she had driven up to Northern California to stay with family uh, while we did this remodel uh, and made a big mess. Um, so yeah, the fireplace um, was built in the early 60s when the house was built. Um, apparently back then this lava rock was very popular. Um, we have a bunch of uh, neighbors with similar lava rock features. Um, we've always hated the lava rock since we moved in. Uh, besides uh, not looking very good, um, it's sort of a hazard too. There's a, a bunch of rocks that are jutting out from the fireplace uh, that are like little daggers. Um, we have a one-year-old and a three-year-old daughter uh, who are always running around and um, we've always been concerned that they would uh, lose an eye on this fireplace and we've actually had a baby gate around the fireplace for uh, the past two years before this. Um, so yeah, we really wanted to get to remodeling this fireplace uh, to make it look better and for safety reasons as well. So at this point, um, we're just doing preparation work. Um, Neil and I are putting up uh, plastic wrap and trying to sort of box in this whole area uh, around the fireplace uh, before we start demolishing it uh, because we know that uh, demolishing all of this mortar and rock is going to create a huge mess of dust uh, that will get all throughout the house. Um, in addition, there's going to be a bunch of uh, sheetrock uh, drywall work that also creates a ton of dust and mess. Um, and so we're just trying to mitigate the mess um, and reduce uh, the amount of it that gets all throughout the rest of the house. So here you see Neil is uh, putting down drop cloths and uh, just using some painter's tape to, to put them down. Uh, in addition, I'm starting to bring in some random boards uh, that I just had uh, lying around the garage. I wanted to put some boards down because we know that uh, there's probably a ton and a half of rocks on this wall um, with all the mortar too and uh, we wanted to protect the the flooring underneath in case some of the rocks fall down which uh, some of them end up uh, falling down and we we're glad that we put down those extra boards um, in addition to the drop cloths to protect the floor. So um, here you see we've pretty much uh, blocked in the whole room with plastic wrap and uh, covered up the vents. Uh, here you see Neil is going with a box cutter and just cutting around the edge of the uh, fireplace to try to make sure we don't uh, destroy more drywall sheetrock than needed. And here I've just busted out, I have a, a Bosch uh, rotary hammer tool um, with a demolition bit on it here. And so um, this tool has been an MVP tool for uh, a couple other remodeling jobs um, that I've done in the past in uh, bathrooms and our kitchen. Um, it's uh, a invaluable tool for uh, for demolition work. Um, so it makes quick work of uh, cutting into the mortar and uh, letting us break out these big lava rocks. Uh, some of these lava rocks weigh you know 30, 40 pounds. Um, they're they're very large and uh, sharp rocks. So um, here you see we're we're making good progress uh, breaking down the fireplace. Uh, just continuing to take the rotary hammer and then we have some. Uh, some chisels and hammers and some uh, some crowbars as well to try to pry them out. Uh, so we're sort of switching back and forth here with the rotary hammer and uh, breaking the pieces out um, and bringing them outside. So whenever you take on a demolition project like this, I definitely recommend uh, investing in a, a good respirator or uh, some masks because um, uh, when you're doing this sort of demolition, it creates a ton of uh, ultra-fine dust that hangs in the air uh, and it's horrible for your lungs and uh, so you definitely want to uh, to make sure you uh, protect yourself when doing demolition like this. Uh, in addition, I have a uh, an air filter. If you see on the bottom, uh, sort of off to the right, um, this WEN air filtration unit that uh, I've used on previous demolition work uh, and does a great job of just recycling the air in the room and uh, filtering out all of the uh, demolition particles in the air. Uh, so here you see we're just breaking up all the mortar up on top. Um, Neil's uh, making some strategic cuts to some of the mesh um, that's holding up this mortar. And uh, at this point, we're able to uh, really break out 
um, all of the mortar. We've got all the big rocks out. Um, and so this stuff will start coming out in big chunks at this point. Um, so here I'm just breaking up some more mortar with the uh, rotary hammer and uh, we're able to peel off large sections at a time here and uh, reveal the studs uh, behind here and the inner area of the fireplace. So the demolition pretty much uh, went as we expected. Uh, there were no real big surprises. Um, there was uh, one uh, small issue that we ran into. Um, on the left side of the wall, there's actually uh, two layers of sheetrock um, all the way across the left side of the wall. And there's one layer of sheetrock on the right side. Um, uh, we figured that uh, there's probably was some damage in the uh, 1990s uh, Northridge earthquake. Um, there's a another room on the other side of this fireplace that was uh, added on in the 80s to this house, um, and it appeared uh, based on some cracking down uh, at the bottom of the fireplace and with this weird issue with the sheetrock um, that it probably happened in the Northridge earthquake and uh, was patched up in this uh, sort of funky way. So it wasn't a big issue. We found a solution for it uh, fairly easily. So here you see um, we're continuing uh, demolition to the uh, the bottom uh, hearth area, um, just breaking up this mortar down here. Um, we were able to get this one giant piece out um, and then just break up the other areas pretty easily. Uh, so at this point you can see we pretty much have uh, the entire demolition done uh, down to the uh, slab foundation. Um, so now we're just uh, taking a look and seeing uh, what we're going to have to do to uh, rebuild the area. Uh, so the plan is to um, have uh, sheetrock at the top. We'll have a sheetrock section uh, that continues across this wall on the top. There will be a uh, mantle that we're going to put in at about half to two-thirds of the way up, um, a 60-inch wide mantle. And then beneath that, we'll have the, uh, the legs and the header of the fireplace will be done in a, uh, in a stone tile. And we'll have some uh, granite uh, trim pieces and a granite hearth at the bottom. Um, we're gonna try to bring the hearth all the way down uh, so it's pretty much just lying right on top of the uh, hardwood floors. Uh, so our plan here is to install a uh, four by six uh, header board um, right here in the center section of the wall. Uh, the four by six will uh, be slightly angled. Um, as I mentioned, there's uh, the two layers of sheetrock on the left and only one on the right. So uh, we just slightly angled this four by six that we're gonna be putting in um, so that the, the new replacement sheetrock we put in uh, will evenly go um, across the wall and um, won't look funky. Um, in addition, we'll be cutting uh, the next day um, with a table saw some, uh, some shims that we'll put on these 2 by 4 uh, framing in the wall uh, that the sheetrock will go into um, just so we can go from the, the two layers of sheetrock to the one. Uh, so here you see we have the, uh, the 4 by 6 header uh, framed in. And uh, at this point, we're pretty much done for the day. Um, we just wanted to get the demolition done in day one. And so um, uh, in the next video, we'll continue on and get started uh, with the actual uh, fireplace rebuilding. And so uh, go ahead and check out video two for that.